You know, ladies and gentlemen, when we look back at the uh, uh, portion of time, especially television, things have changed an awful lot. When Jeannie Francis first came at General Hospital, she eventually did stuff on the show as an underage actress that actresses 16 or 17 years old, two years older than she was at the time, were doing. And on retrospect, and the fact was she was raped in the show as part of the Luke and Laura uh, plot, she's probably 18 or 19. That was a lot to take care of. So today we're not going to talk about Luke and Laura a little bit. We're talking about when Jeannie Francis, who was half Canadian, by the way, little shout out to my home country, uh, how she was used to draw in young viewers on her show. Now, the character of Laura Spencer or Laura Vining did not undergo any real character development until after two years into Francis' tenure as Laura. At the time, the series was facing cancellation, and the ABC brought on Gloria Monti as executive producer to save it. The new showrunner's first order of business was to attract younger viewers by putting the teenage Francis and Laura front and center. Francis reminisced about Monty's conversation with her parents and eagerness for more work in 1976. She told my parents, my idea is to use your daughter to capture the young audience. I was absolutely ch- ch- champing at the bit to prove myself as an actress, so I welcomed the opportunity with a lot of gusto. I think at the time she was only 14. Suddenly, Frances found herself with a very demanding work schedule in which she arrived on site at 7.30 a.m. and sometimes did not finish work until midnight. Young actors also had to study 30, 50 pages of dialogue daily instead of two shows a week. Francis was on screen every day. After Monty resurrect, restructured the series around the character, Laura dreams of living independent from her parents and starts thinking about marriage. Gloria put sex and romance in Laura's life and it bowled me over, Francis said. Hero is doing things in front of <clears throat> 20 million people a week that I had never done in my own life. Some of the characters' early storylines, including Runaway to a Commune at age 15, Laura's affair with David Hamilton, Jerry Ayers, who was in love with her mother, Leslie, and only eight months after Monty's hiring, she had Laura kill Hamilton. Though teenagers couldn't relate to the murder itself, they could relate to the feelings of betrayal and Laura's strained relationship with her mother. Frances credited the storyline with allowing her to prove herself as an actress. It was a romance with an older man. In a 1996 interview with Soap Opera Update, Francis said the David Hamilton storyline really did drive the character and make her who she was. According to Francis, during our deal, Laura is freaked out about looking good to the rest of the world because she was in the scandal sheets as a slut. In the summer of 77, Ken Schreiner was cast in the role of Scotty, uh, Scott Scotty Baldwin to play opposite Francis's Laura which I like Scotty more than Luke. That's my opinion. Now, Scotty and Laura would eventually be paired together in a romantic story. Francis said, we did a first love story with real-life sex, romance, and heartbreak. It's every teenager's story. According to Schreiner, Laura was the big love of Scotty's life. Duran leaves Scotty jaded and screwed up, which tied in the Luke and Laura uh, plotline of two years. Scotty was Laura's first kiss, and Schreiner was Francis's first kiss. Francis said, I've been pecked before, but this was a real kiss. With a new love in her life, Laura inquires about birth control. It was the first time I was nervous, Francis admitted. Laura and Scotty had a year-long courtship, which includes parental disapproval. Scotty supporting Laura during the David Hamilton murder trial and the interference of Bobby Spencer, Jackie Zeman, the late great actress who wants Scott to, to her for herself. Finally, in July 79, over the course of six episodes, Scotty and Laura are married. Francis and Schreiner became quite close during an on-screen romance. Though Laura did love Scotty, their marriage also helped to improve her social standing and allows her uh, to rise above their tragic past as a murderer. At some point, Art imitated life, and Francis and Schreiner dated for nearly a year. This happened before Luke was on the scene in 1978. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, if all you know is about Luke and Laura and you don't know about Scotty and Laura, it's pretty bizarre because some people were saying Scotty and Laura was going to be the super couple of General Hospital. Little did we know at the time when Tony Geary came on, because he was a good character actor, he, you know, all in the family and all that, that this whole thing that Monty put together was to another level. It was almost like a like a, like a a wrestling thing with Cody Rhodes. Look it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our first podcast in our GH history we'll be doing this month. Keep listening, and we'll keep putting it together. Bye.